right, um, I was at the store the other day. All of the junk stores are closed now, so the only store left in town is a place called Anchor Electronics. I'll put a link down below to Anchor Electronics. Uh, if you're in the Bay Area, San Francisco Bay Area, um, it's a great little store to go into. It's run by these really nice ladies. Um, and I had been in there the other day, and um, they have uh, used test equipment oftentimes that people just donate to them. Uh, they're not a consignment shop, but people just give them old stuff and then they sell it. Um, and they had a, a Hewlett Packard multimeter. And I shot a video on that of me repairing the, the multimeter that I bought for $20. And uh, I decided just to take it back and give it back to them. So, you know, hey, I, I fixed this thing. I'll give it back to you and you can make more than, <laughs> make more than $20 next time, you know. Um, and they go, oh, what do you think it's worth? Eh, somewhere between maybe 60 to 100, something like that. Um, so anyway, so they got that back and they were quite happy. And so I found this for $20 um, and I wanted to do a video on that. And the lady says, oh, 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 you can just have that. You can, you can have that. Um, and then she handed me this too. So she handed me two things for free. Um, and so now we have a symbiotic relationship, right? Uh, I fix their stuff and then give it back to them. <laughs> so anyway, I think it's great because you guys like to watch me fix things. I have, a, I have a, just a, a really, really fun time fixing things. And um, yeah. So I think what we'll do is we'll do uh, the power supply today since I'd just done a multimeter. We'll do the power supply today. And I think this one, uh, you can see it's just kind of flopping around. I think this one is just uh, mechanical. Um, it, I think it works electronically and I think it's just busted mechanically. So yeah, that'll be the video today. Okay, let's uh, turn this thing on and see if it does anything. Um, constant current, constant voltage. Oh, it might be sick. It might be sick. And we're getting negative out here. It's, uh, huh, adjust. You can do plus and minus? That doesn't seem right. <laughs> I don't think that's right. And I'm going counterclockwise to increase it, which I just don't think Hewlett Packard would have done that. Um, constant current set, all right. Ah, well maybe this thing's sicker than I thought. That's good. <laughs> good for you guys. <laughs> uh, might need to take a look at this thing. Yeah, it, is it hold, nah, it's not holding voltage now. Yeah, it's drooping. No, it's sick. It's sick. <laughs> Never mind that uh, broken thing. Uh, yeah, it's uh, something. Something's gone bad somewhere. So, okay, let's. Uh, I don't know if I can find schematics for this. A lot of times, these uh, newer power supplies they did not give schematics for, so we might have a hard time with this. Um, but yeah, let's open it up. I put my nose down in here and it smells like dead fish. <laughs> so that's not good. Is that a capacitor? What, what smells like dead fish? I do not like these newer cases. I know it saves them money and everything, but they're just these, this one piece of plastic holds it all together. And I just, I don't know. I think it's kind of beneath HP. All right, it looks very nice inside, very clean. Um, big, nice transformer. Uh, let's see, what's this thing rated at? Zero to eight volts at three amps and zero to 15 volts at two amps. Yeah, pretty heavy duty. Uh, all linear supply. Uh, it's got a big bridge rectifier with a heat sink on it. A lot of times don't, un don't understand that those um, diodes get really hot in, in, uh, in uh, uh, bridge rectifiers and and yeah the, those 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 big ones that have a hole in the middle of them the holes there to put the heat sink on I mean that's why, that's why it's there uh, I haven't located the uh, dead fish yet uh, so this is a uh, definitely the modern version of HP things because it's got microprocessors in it <laughs> uh, those are Probably just display drivers, I would guess. Um, but they might, they might be the whole shooting works there. I don't know. If it's just monitoring, I bet you that's just display stuff. I think everything else is old school uh, analog feedback loops and stuff. So, 
no ones and zeros get in the way. Wow, there's an LM741. <laughs> nice. Why not? I mean, you know, sometimes the old stuff is just really, really cheap. And hey, it gets the job done, so why not save some money? Uh, this is a pretty standard part in LM1458. So that's a pretty, st so it's interesting, right? In LM1458, you would think, ah, oh, they just use that. But they have a 41 over here and they have a uh, 15, 1458 over here. And I think that maybe the 741s are higher voltage rated. I don't remember the three, 339 uh, comparator. Um, so I've done a whole bunch of, of videos. So one of these op amps is probably current, one of the op amps is voltage, and then there's a comparator, and really that's all you need in the feedback loop to do these things. Now, it is a dual supply though, so uh, these are dual, this is a single op amp, but this is a dual op amp. And there's very few numbers of components in here. Uh, there's another bridge rectifier down here, a little bitty one, a little bitty one there. Um, and these guys here, Where's the magnifying glass? What are they? Uh, that one is a... HP part number, so I don't know what it is. And these two over here are... 7912. And a... 7905. Alright, so... This one's probably three thermal regulators as well, just... Probably 7, 8, 12. All right. Um, yeah, so if you want to have a clean supply for your analog electronics, these are probably just for the instrument itself. Plus or minus 12 and plus 5, just, just for the instrument. And then everything else gets handled, handled someplace else. So that would make sense to me. The big pass transistors are 2N6055. Not familiar with those, but they look very stout. Um, cute little capacitor there, I like that squat capacitor. I don't know, nothing, nothing looks bad, but certainly something's not right. So we will check to make sure maybe everything is plugged in solidly. Um, yeah, anyway, and then we need to figure out why this thing keeps flapping in the breeze. Probably the little, like I said, I, I'm not happy with the way HP move to little clip thing. No, they're still there. They didn't break off. The tabs under here didn't break off. So should be able to get that back together. Should be able to. See, the front's going to just pop off too. Oh, there are some broken tabs down there. Let's take this off just for a second. Yeah, there's a little bit of broken tab there from somebody. Hmm. Yeah, so these are soldered down. Those go to the pot. So that's so that's a really nice de attention to detail. Um, the potentiometers that control voltage and current do not go onto a connector. They do not. They get soldered directly. Okay, but things like the display that, eh, whatever, um, those can go on a connector. But you no, know, the ones that are in the feedback loop, which these two are going to be in the feedback loop, they want an absolute solid connection, nothing that gets vibrated loose or, 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 or goes bad over time. They are, they are soldered down directly. So, yeah, I like that. 